Hello folks, welcome back to RimWorld. I'm Absurdities. We're gonna start off a new colony today, and we're gonna do something a little bit different, but not too crazy. In fact, I'm gonna I'm gonna ease up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna go with Lost Tribe, and we're gonna play Blood and Dust this time. Because I was struggling, I would say, to learn aspects of the game while being crushed by the difficulty. And I know that's not going to be everyone's cup of tea if you want to watch people who are super good at the game and play with 500 times difficulty. Totally good on you. That's just not going to be this playthrough. Not yet, anyways. Um, it's going to take me some time to get my head around and become, and well, to get good, bro. So we're going to go blood and dust, uh, move forward here. We're going to reload anytime because we just need to have that happen when we're recording. And thanks to Twitch Viewer Lapsus for giving us Peppercorn as a seed. Everything else is going to stay default and we're going to generate. And I've already done this once just to kind of preview and stuff. And uh, we, I believe, yeah, it was over here somewhere. Maybe right there. Large hills, slate and granite, no caves. We're going to go for medium. Nah, you know what? I'm going to go large. Uh, they they actually break the game design. That's okay. I'm okay to make the AI stupid and stuff. I don't know. Nah, let's go 275 by 275. I won't break the game. The, I've already eased up on difficulty enough. All right, there we go. We're going to have an ideal ideology system uh, that is fluid, and I forgot to save it, so we're going to have to recreate it on the fly. We're going to go with um, animism, loyalist, and we're going to I'm going to go ahead and get all this set and then I'll kind of take you through it. It's pretty much the same as our other one. We're going to have lots of festivals. We're going to allow the eating of uh, insect meat. We're going to allow the harvesting of organs. We don't care if we uh, execute people and so on. So give me one second. I'll get this all set up. All right, so we have loyalism, which is displayed uh, or, or shows the symbol of the stealth fighter, our revered spirit animal. And uh, we've got, yeah, insect meat is loved, uh, spouses two or fewer. So I guess we're being, uh, you know, we're kind of having open marriages. Research is on fast because I cheat. Uh, cannibalism is acceptable, acceptable, execution respected if guilty. Uh, this stuff is all kind of normal. Uh, slavery is acceptable, free love, no rules for clothes. Uh, they can keep their names and we can use organs. Uh, the leaders also do not have any specialized clothes because it's annoying. We have lots of rituals because I cheat. And uh, here we are with a ritual seat of pew. Emblem of families are building and we've got a loyal sculpture. And then our relics are uh, whore collar, the Zeus hammer. Uh, this relic, which needs to be named Sting, which I thought I did, and the Anna Chalice. Let's just add a, add a, something, a different chalice that has, a dutiful chalice, that sounds better. And then, uh, we have some, some punk stuff is, is more common. And that's it. So, moving on. Oh, we need uh, we need a flag or a pyre or something. There we go, sacrificial flag. There we go. Uh, I have used prepare carefully, and I I know I've been told about the the risks of it, but nevertheless, here we are. Anadin and Elapsus have helped me get uh, set up here while I stream on Twitch, and then I chose the three other names at random of YouTube supporters, patrons, and tippers. Uh, so we have Retcraft, Twisted Soul, and Legon, and everybody is set up with pretty, um, <laughs> quote-unquote balanced skills in that they have one burning passion and two small passions, and I left most of the skills kind of where they came out at random, but I added five points if you had a burning passion, I added three points if you had a regular passion. Um, so in some cases, like, some skills will end up being... Like here, cooking is a three, where their crafting is a seven, just because I didn't bother touching crafting. But if I if I gave them a passion, I went down and then I added three points. So there we are. We've got some some good people. Oh, I didn't finish actually adding traits to Legon. 
Let's do that. And uh, so Anadin is a kind, fast walker. Uh, Elapsis is beautiful and hard worker. Uh, Brett Kreft is brawler and tough. Twisted Soul is jogger and nimble. Uh, those two are both kind of melee specialized to a degree. Well, I mean, certainly the brawler, but the nimble with the melee skill. And then Legon is going to be ascetic. That's a good one, right? It's uh, forsaken physical comforts and conflicts with gourmand, greedy, and jealous. Yeah, that's fine. Ascetic is fine. So they're easy to please that way. And then we're going to go with uh, Sanguine. Let's go with Sanguine, which is one of my favorites, because I wish I was Sanguine. And there we are. Save that preset tribal. Relationships have been erased because I wanted to. And we have three short bows, a steel Iqua, a uranium club, and a Pila for weapons. We have two female and one male alpaca. And the rest was default. Let's go. The gods were very angry. The blood machines came at night. They swept through our village, cutting and burning your people with the, their blades and devil fire. Only a few of you escaped. Now, after a harrowing journey and with no friends to turn to, you must build a new home in the wilderness like your ancestors did. Cool. Uh, what's beautiful about this is, of course, we have mods, and we're going to re-roll the world because I would hate to just regenerate the world for shiggles over and over again. Look at all the... look at all the steel. Crazy. So I'm going to find us a map that uh, kind of ticks a lot of boxes for me. This one actually, like, the, the amount of rich soil here is, is really attractive, and the fact that there's like three geysers, but I want to move the rocks around a little bit, and we have to do that at random. So we use this map reroll, you queue up a few pages of that, and then you start sifting through them. For anyone who's not familiar with the mod, gives you a bit of a preview. And something like this with some wide open space is interesting to me. You generate, you have a look, if you like it, you play it. So I'm just going to find a map that I like, and we'll go from there. And here we are, we've selected a map after going through way too many of them. But uh, it's it's interesting, it's got this mountain formation running all the way through it, this kind of half moon thing going on, which is nice and defensive. Uh, we got a room down here, which we could use, but I think we're just going to build as quickly as possible out of wood. And we know how that goes, right? Uh, how do I unforbid? Allow everything. There we go. Now I get a retrain. It's been a few days since that last run ended. I thought I'd take a, a wee break and let that be digested. So here we are. Let's uh, get together a room is what I'm going to do first. Let's plan maybe right against the mountainside. Something like that. Let's get a couple doors. And do I, do I even want to do that? I don't. Let's face it, I don't. I like freestanding bases that I can kind of work around. So let's go with, I don't know, 20 by 12. I think the interior is 11, isn't it? No, oh, 10? Okay. No, nope, that's got to be one more. And we got the upbeat P music mod. Music going. Here we go. Four of those. And uh, let's go a little slower than that. There we go. We got people working on all the stuff. Yeah, we need beds. We need everything. Let's start by getting a dumping stockpile, just kind of toss down there, and a stockpile on the inside, which is not going to allow, we can allow foods, yeah that's fine actually, and then out here, chunks, corpses, rotten, no rotten, 
There we go. Let's get our house built. We should probably try and get beds made. We have to research them, though. And we don't have cloth. So, it's sleeping spots. I have not played tribal in many, many, many well, actually, I was going to say many moons, if you will. Uh, many years at this point. So, it's going to be a bit of a shock to the system. The stuff that we do and do not get. Alright, beyond that, I think we should start immediately with some planting as well. Growing zone by terrain, let's just choose that, let's choose that, let's choose that. And here we're going to go with uh, heal root. Here we'll go with rice. And here we'll go with corn. And we almost have a house, that's amazing. Nice and quick. And then we're going to have to start pretty much adding on to this right away. Uh, I think it's going to be super important, actually, that we do research sooner than later. So let's get into production, get a simple research bench or two. Bad temperature, that's fine. We'll deal with it. Uh, we'll deal with that with torches. We'll put a couple of them down in there. And maybe we should have a look at priorities here. Oh, not that one. No, no. Turn it into numbers. Fire fate, patient, rescue, doctor, bed rest. Actually, we'll leave on three. Cook, rural plant cut, all clean. There we go. Uh, Brett Craft is uh, a bit of a handler. I guess he's our only real handler. So we'll go with two, and we should uh, tie off. No, I guess I'm looking for... Caravan Hitching Spot. Let's just put those guys out there. Yeah, handling, cooking, hunting, we're just going to turn off for now. Constructing, though. Um, oh, is Brett Craft? Yeah, Brett Craft really is the constructor. He's got a little bit of mining. Turn off arts. Smithing and crafting, I turn off until I need them. And then research will be Twisted Soul, but Anadin can do that as well when you're not growing. And then what do we have? We got, so, who's the second best constructor? It's Elapsis, actually. She's going to be busy cooking, I imagine. So, and you're going to be busy growing. We have we have a lot of, a lot of backup on the, the growing side of things. But not so much on construction. Maybe we should put that out of priority four. And a priority three. There we go. And we're indoors. Construction botched on the on a torch. That's cool. Okay, very nice. We should uh, cut all the plants out of there. Wait, isn't there a thing for growing growing flowers in your barracks? People keep telling me this. Grow some daylilies. Maybe it'll make the place beautiful. Hopefully the torches will look after them. Wow, what a first day. We got everything planted. We got a house made. We got our sleeping spots. And uh, we're well on our way to having some stuff.
Okay, so thinking about what's next, I, I think it's just going to be research. Yeah, you're going to grow and then research. You're going to grow and then research as well, I think. And that'll be okay. We'll get two research on the go. Two researchers. Stone cutting is going to be essential. Complex furniture. What else? Basic smithing, clothing. Yeah, stuff like that. What about, um, even before smithing and clothing, electricity. Yeah, that's a big deal. That's a lot of research. And it does make some sense to me that it would be a lot of research. So that's good. We do have a fair amount of pemmican, so that is super nice. Let me see here. We go pemmican, select similar things on map. Okay, so that's all the pemmican that we have. It's 139. We've got stacks in our inventory, so yeah, because I thought we started with like 400. And it seems that we do. Now, stone cutting is definitely kind of the first thing I want to happen. Um, we could also reinstall some urns. Whoops. Uh, game? <laughs> it was... It's doing weird things. Where'd the other one go? Here it is. Just put some urns down, try and raise the beauty a little bit. It's, you know, it's a dirt floor, but that's okay. Maybe we should be doing the whole floor. Yeah, probably. Uh, expand zone. Shoot. No, oh, stop planting potatoes. Expand zone. Expand. There we go. What is this nonsense? <laughs> There we go. And uh, we'll, we'll let that happen. Who's who's the builder? And why aren't we building... Brettcraft. Brettcraft, what are you doing? Wandering. No, no, no. We, we got stuff to do, dude. Wandering. You're missing steel. We, we didn't start with steel. Oh my gosh, okay. Did I forget a miner? Mm, not really. Brettcraft is kind of a miner. But, yeah. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize mining would be so important at uh, right at the beginning. But that's okay. We can we can just get people mining. Elapsis is the second best miner. Twisted Soul is about the same. Legon's the same. Yeah, so let's just put it in as a backup so everyone does it. If they don't have anything else to do, everybody's planting. Fair enough. Let's keep moving here. Also, can I shrink this down a little? I don't know how. If I can, we'll keep it there. What do we have here? We have a table. We should try and get an eating spot on the go. Just uninstall that, put it in the stockpile.
What else do we have to look at? Uh, more urns. I should just put it in the corner. Uh, that'll do, though. How's that working for the beauty? Oh, look at that. People should be pretty happy about that, I imagine. Right, let's move along. Day two done? Day three done? I don't even know. Yes, research, my pretties. I have a steel urn to look at. Oh, it is steel. But we already mined steel, obviously. Because they are building, they they built those. Okay, cool. That's a normal table. That's a normal table. We should uh, allow our people to go through and harvest fully grown plants. Harvest fully grown. Just keep them busy with that stuff a little bit. Oh, and it didn't, oh, it's trees too. But that's fine. We, we're going to need the wood. I think one of these, though, needs to be dedicated. Twisted Soul, you're now dedicated to research. I want to be able to replace with stone as quickly as possible. We need a variety of recreation. We need a meal source. Yes. In fact, I think they've already picked up all the pemmican. Yeah, totally. Okay. Uh, we're gonna look at. Hmm. This is this is partly why I wanted to get. I thought we'd have a little more time to get stone blocks on the go, but we really won't. Plasteel, that's compact machinery. Silver machinery. We're gonna need some compacted machinery, so. Mind those. We have a visitor, a cave builder from the White Craig tribe is visiting the colony. He is named Abanero Kyra. Seems to have a few items to trade. Well, hi, Kyra. You got some stuff to trade, huh? We don't, not really. But we'll get Elapsis to go ahead and have a look. See what they brought. Uh, herbal medicine. Beer? I wish we could afford the beer. We would have to give up... Something I don't want to give up. Okay, but we could buy some more pemmican. Just to keep us going a little bit longer. Tempted to sell the pila, but we'll, we'll buy 51 pemmican. Cool. We are almost there for the stone. Stone cutting. Nice. Okay. We have 51 pemmican in stock now. Uh, let's get stone cutting working for us. Let's go with... Um, <clears throat> I don't know what. Somewhere. Where do we have a lot of stone? Down here for sure. Yeah, it will be indoors, don't you worry. And we're gonna put a torch in there. We're gonna get a dumping stockpile out here. Maybe shrink that just a little bit. 
clear all except for chunks, please. And it's going to be priority preferred. And then we're going to take granite and we're going to tell them we want it hauled. Yeah, we got a lot of stuff laying around and not so many people really tasked with hauling. But they'll cut it down and then they'll haul, I guess. So we'll deal with that. My hope is what? Um, I think electricity has got to be very much more sought after. And we're going to have to, we're going to have to build a little kitchen. Little kitchen and a little butchery. Whatever. Yeah, let's just let's just copy that. Under production, we're gonna go with a fueled stove. We're gonna the stump. You dirty stump. Let's see if someone will get rid of that for us. It was right there. I can't believe you can't just place it down locked by chop stump. Just please do that. Thank you very much. What? It's still the other one. There we go. Butcher table. No problems there. And yeah, great. And then we'll start to do some hunting. Uh, who is our best hunter? It would be... Legon? Legon it is. You need a bow, sir. Yeah, shooting of five. I didn't really prioritize um, combat skills other than our melee people. Brettcraft here with the Brawler uh, is going to take the Uranium Club. Twisted Soul Jogger Nimble is going to get the Ikwa. Uh, Legon. Apila is a ranged weapon, right? Throwing Spears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we want the bow or the Pila? Let's try Pila. We could do short bow as a sidearm. Okay, there we go. Oh, mad hair. It's coming around the mountain. Let's get Legon moving over here. It's fast. It's It might be a problem. Oh yeah, it might be a problem. Kill it! Why didn't I give him a melee weapon sidearm? I should have really done that. It wasn't really thinking. Sorry about the hair teeth. There we go. There we go. Uh, it's okay. You can get patched up. It's, it's little bites. Little bits. Little bites. And then we're going to do some hunting like donkeys and all of those guys. And that should be plenty. And then we're going to add bills here. Make any stone blocks do forever. And we'll limit the radius a little bit, but not a whole lot. There we go. We'll see if we can get some food on the go in the next one. I'm going to call it there for this episode. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I hope you're excited for this new playthrough. I certainly am. 
And uh, yeah, if you have any tribal tricks, uh, tips or tricks that you want to share, please leave in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to learning a slightly new play style and enjoying the game with maybe slightly less uh, soul crushing death. Uh, special thanks to my patrons and uh, members, tippers, of course, and all you who subscribe. Uh, did you know 70% of you are not subscribed? Blah, blah, blah. It's actually true, and I could really use the subs, so if you wouldn't mind taking a moment of your time, it's free and easy, and usually not very painful. Uh, and you don't even have to hit the bell. I'll forgive you. It's cool. I just need your subs. All right, that's enough for now. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye for now.